when we come to more precisely to our electronics lab what we are doing in our electronics lab is we are going to use something called analog discovery studio so this analog discovery studio does not need any of these equipments you do not need any of these equipments instead everything is in built in that analog discovery studio so it's very easy to use i will explain that uh, now practically how this analog discovery studio looks like this is analog discovery studio uh, this is the hardware kit lab kit uh, this is mainly uh, you can use it for electronics lab or any other relevant laboratories so you can build so many different types of circuits uh, in this breadboard so this is the box once once you open this box then you will see the hardware kit like this so in this hardware kit what can you see here just first of all you will see the breadboard in the middle of this board uh, and also you will see uh, different options for example here you have the oscilloscope uh, that will uh, display and measure the input output waveforms and also you will you have another option uh, or another function that is the waveform generator so there is nothing but functional generator so you can generate whatever the waveforms you want and you can set up the amplitude and you can set up the frequency and you can apply that signal to your circuit that is circuit under test and also this one have several other digital input output uh, pins uh, you can use it when you need it uh, if your experiment uh, requires such inputs or outputs and also here we have some more uh, pins there is uh, here you can see uh, plus 12 volt minus 12 volt and also ground v plus v minus so everything is available uh, in this hardware kit and also of course there are so many cables here uh, so these cables were inside this kind of plastic bags so i just have taken out and installed uh, a build or construct a simple circuit that's why it looks looks like this so this is how this hardware kit is and also remember this hardware kit has a switch uh, so in the side of the uh, kit you have something like this so you can turn on and off the switch and also the back side of the kit the, uh, there are two cables you can use so one is this is the cable which is giving the power to this hardware kit so this cable is having the adapter and I just plug it in, into the plug point and there is another port so the another cable give, uh, is also present in this box so I just take and connect this cable and then the other end of the cable is connected to my laptop uh, in the USB okay so this is one of the uh, important thing you need to know so once you know how the analog discovery studio looks like now we can move on next if you want to use this analog discovery studio you need to install the software it's called waveforms shortcut so once you install this then you will have this kind of desktop icon or you will you can find it from your search menu so you just double click this one and then you will get this kind of uh, user interface so in this user interface this is the welcome page so you you can see there are so many possibilities so you can open oscilloscope or you can open waveform generator you can use power supplies voltmeter logger there are so many functions available in this analog discovery studio kit okay so now i want to have this oscilloscope for my experiment so i just click the oscilloscope i already connected the kit hardware kit to my pc in the usb port so i have some kind of i uh, see here you can see the input voltage i am measuring that is coming from this channel 2 i can also uh, i also have another channel channel 1 i am not using at this moment i can also connect this channel 1 to 
uh, another points different points in the circuit and this is the oscilloscope and this is the waveform generator as i said just before this discovery studio have everything so you can also it also has inbuilt waveform generator that is nothing but function generator so you can generate the waveforms for example here i am generating the sinusoidal waves so of course here you, if you click this waveform generator then you will come here so in this waveform i am uh, for example the type of the wave i want to generate now i am generating sinusoidal so i just select a sine and then the frequency i can select whatever the value i want maybe i change to one kilohertz now you can see here the x axis values are changing and the period amplitude i want just only one volt i can set up whatever the value i want so the like this you can set up the input waveform to the circuit under test uh, so this waveform will be generated by this waveform generator or function generator and then you are applying to this uh, circuit under test and then from uh, so you from the oscilloscope you can take the probe and then connect in different points of the circuit and you can see the waveform so this is the output waveform of the circuit under test so you, here also you can change for example here if you want to change uh, anything else everything is possible everything you can customize as you want so you should know how to measure the amplitude and how to measure the frequency of the oscilloscope so whatever that uh, you see here in this digital oscilloscope it's going to be the same for uh, this hardware the big cathode ray oscilloscope cro so i think uh, that's all uh, about this um, analog discovery studio this is very easy you do not need to use the traditional electronic equipments you can just use this uh, kit electronic lab kit that is uh, inbuilt everything and it's easy to use and set up the parameters that's all thank you for watching